This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Discoveries. I'm on Unit 3 Animation and Games. Lesson 14, Project Interactive Card Part 8, Finishing Touches. Now's your chance to put finishing touches on your card. We've included some new blocks that you haven't seen before, so take some time to look around and try out the new blocks. Ooh, text. I definitely want text. Additional images. Okay, subtle animation in the background. Sound effects. More ways. Okay, I definitely want text. So, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty proud of mine. All right, so let's see. Is text here? Yes, got it. Text. I'm gonna have my text. I'm just gonna drop it here, and then uh, best friends, something adorable, right? Right. Okay, and then. It spawns, let's see where that's going to be, way up there, it's way too small. Uh, I know how I can solve that though, text font. Nope, I don't care about the font, I want the size. There we are. Let's say 25, it's going to be huge. Oh, that's not that big at all. Okay, and then this must be X, so... 50 and Y 50. Let's see what that's like. I kind of want it in the upper corner. So let's do Y 35 and X 10. That is much better. Um, okay, so that is some text. What else do we got? Subtle animation in the background. Hmm, well, we could, if this is a draw loop, we could have the sun, I wonder what that would be like, though. What if I had the sun size, yeah, that would be too dramatic. Ooh, ooh, actually, though, for the font size, just to kind of make it, I know what I want. I'm going to make this font size, not a huge change, but we're going to do like mm, 25 to 35. Let's see if this looks crazy or not. Oh yeah, that looks crazy. Okay, so let's do 30 to 35. Any better? Not much. Okay, let's do 33. I just wanted it to look kind of cool. <laughs> mm, maybe this was a bad idea. Yep, bad idea. We'll leave it at 35, I guess. <laughs> All right. Um, so we can, though, add some other changes. Click, 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 click. And then once I'm here, I can now, boop, and it goes back to the bear. Boop, bear. What if I have it reset if I click on the sun? I'm going to do that. So I'm going to add another if, and I'm going to say... No, if I click on the giraffe, that's what I want. So if mouse, not mouse over, mouse pressed over, yeah, that's what I want. And then what's our giraffe's name? Well, I named our giraffe Jeff, uh, because obviously. So if that happens, I want my variable count to equal zero. Oh, does it not have a Jeff? Yeah, Jeff's there. What are you saying? Oh, boom. Cool. Let's try. So, ba -da, 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 da ba. And now, oh, not enough. There we go. But what? And so it changes because I go down, right? But if I click, what? Oh, I don't have it reset. <laughs> I have to set, okay, okay. Oh my goodness. So if it equals zero, because I check if count equals this or it's greater. So let's do this. 
And then I need to add an else here. So if it's not greater than three and it's not, if it's not greater than three, what we want is it to be set animation ice. We want it to go back to ice. Okay, and now it will switch. Now let's click. Ice! We need the scale though again, because we have that be a 0.6. So ice and 0 0.6, reset, run. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba. Oh, not enough. There we go. And now, ice. <laughs> awesome. Um, I'm going to share mine, right? So I hope you did something really cool with yours too. I'm going to add the, well, I'm going to hit share and I'm going to copy that and I'll share it in the description. You should share yours, but let me just scroll through my code for you. All right, let's keep going.